calculating the rate of an enzyme reaction by kscience.com. This here is enzyme A. This here is enzyme B. We're going to test which enzyme can break down this substrate into products in the quickest time. So which enzyme have the fastest rate of reaction? So the time in seconds for the enzyme to fully break down the substrate into the product is as follows. We did four tests. This is test one, test two, three, and four. In test one, the enzyme took 200 seconds to break down the substrate fully into its products. Test two was 198 seconds, test three, 203 seconds, and test four, 420 seconds. So what was the time in seconds for the enzyme B to fully break down the substrate into product? Again, we did the test four times, and in the first test it was 50, in the first test it was 50 seconds, second test 15, then 49 seconds, then 54 seconds in the final test. So test one, two, and three, it took 200, 198, and 203 seconds. Then test four was 420 seconds. That looks like an anomalous result to me. So when calculating a mean, we exclude the anomalous result. So to calculate the mean, we do 200 plus 198 plus 203 seconds. That gives you a total of 601 seconds. Divide it by three, that gives you an average time across these three tests of 200.33 seconds. So to calculate the rate of reaction, you recall the equation rate equals one over time. So to calculate the rate of this enzyme controlled reaction, its rate equals one divided by 200.33 seconds. That gives you a rate of 0 0.005 seconds to minus one. But because 0 0.005 seconds to minus one isn't the easiest number to handle, you can also use the equation rate equals 1000 over time. So if we do this, rate equals 1000 divided by 200.33 seconds, that gives you a rate of 4.99 seconds to minus one. So for enzyme B, it was 50 seconds, 15, 49, and 54 seconds for each test. So 15 seconds is clearly an anomalous result, so we exclude it when calculating the mean. So it's 50 plus 49 plus 54 seconds, which equals 153 seconds, divided by three, which gives you an average time of, of 51 seconds. So to calculate the rate of this enzyme controlled reaction, you recall rate equals one divided by time. So that's one divided by 51 seconds, which equals 0 0.025 seconds to minus one. Or you can use rate equals 1000 divided by time. That's 1000 divided by 51 seconds equals 19.6 seconds to minus one. So as you can see here, 19.6 seconds to minus one is larger than 4.99 seconds to minus one. So enzyme B has an increased rate of reaction than enzyme A. And 0 0.025 seconds to minus one is larger than 0 0.005 seconds to minus one. So again, using either equation shows that enzyme B has a higher rate of reaction than enzyme A. So enzyme B has a higher rate of reaction than enzyme A. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.